Do you do tattoos yourself? I do. You do? That's so cool. What's your name? Sarah. My name's Todd. You're awesome. Bless you. Is there anything in your life that you need a miracle for? I asked her if she needed a miracle in her life, and she said her dad. And she grabbed my hands, and we prayed and locked horns, man. I believe her dad's cancer's crushed. She's been doing the witchcraft thing for since she was pretty young. And what are we running from witches for? Why wouldn't we want to love them? And she's really touched, man, because God loves her. What I heard in my heart, man, is like... It's been for it's been for probably the last five years. There's been some stuff that's really come against him, really come to try to try to pound you. But it's been almost exactly five years, and it's been a real hard time. But I just want to tell you that this year is going to be an amazing, different year for you. And God's about to do something really cool in your life. All right. I love you. Bless you, girl. You too. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right. Bless you. I might have staff. Don't touch it. Don't touch me. What are you talking? What are you? Where's staff at? Really? Is he giving you pain and stuff? Yeah. The guy's like, you don't want to touch this, you're going to get it. He can't give me it, I'm not going to catch it. If I'm more worried about what somebody has than I am concerned about the Christ in me getting on them, who do I really serve? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put my hand on your chest. Oh, no, it hurts. No, no, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to push on it. I'm just going to command it to leave. Oh, you might get it. Are you kidding? I promise you that I'm not. I don't care. Okay. You can't give it to me, and I'm not taking it. Okay. Come on. Take it, man. God, I thank you in Jesus' name. We curse this right now. We curse it and command it to go. Father, I thank you that you would dry it up from the roots. Is it getting warm right there? Am I? I don't know. No, it's okay. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name for brand new, God. This would completely be crushed right now. In Jesus' name, let him go. It should be getting less to the touch. I, oh, I guarantee. I promise, dude. Watch this. In Jesus' name, I curse you and command you go right now. Touch it again. More or less, it's still the same, but you know, maybe, maybe the power of God will compel. But less pain. Oh, I promise you, man. What do you guys do? Uh. We're in school. Yeah. Are you in college? Oh, in high school. High school. That's awesome, man. Is, is there anything at all physically that gives you guys any trouble at all? Oh, uh, my wrist. Come on, man. What happened to your wrist? That car accident. Really? How long ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. And it's never been right? Well, no, it's, it's kind of right, but I mean, it kind of hurts off now. Okay. Does it hurt at all today? Is there any kind of pain in it today? A little bit, yeah. All right. Let me see your wrist. Yeah, man. Father, I thank you right now. In Jesus' name, we command this wrist to be healed. God, I thank you. You love him so much. God, I thank you in Jesus' name for brand new. Right now, every tendon, every ligament, every cartilage. Move your wrist. Yeah. There we go. What's it feeling like for real, man? Be honest. It's a little cracking, but it's not, not sore, I guess. Where do you feel it at? Point to it. Right there. Jesus' name, spirit of infirmity, I curse you and command you go right now. Get out. Check it. It hurt actually. It should be gone. It really doesn't hurt. It's I know. Good. One of the questions that I hear asked a lot is like, how do you know who to pray for? I mean, you're in a mall or you're in this place or you're in that place. And how do you know who to pray for? The easiest thing to do is to get up in the morning every day and say, Lord God, I don't want to see people through my eyes. I want to see them through your eyes. I want to see people through the heart of heaven. We're in New York City, the city that never sleeps. And we're down here filming in Times Square. It's such a fast life. People need the love of God. So I'm just so thankful that we're here. There's knee. No, it's in the ankle. Yeah. In your foot? Yeah, in the foot. And we saw a kid with, with crutches and actually prayed for his ankle. Where's your pain at? Point to where it is. Right here? Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. Ankle, we command you be healed in Jesus' name right now. Move it. Stand on it, man. Stand on it. Come on, man. Give me your crutches. I ain't going to steal them. Jump. Come on, man. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, people started coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. We had so many encounters. Okay, let me see your feet. That's like two inches. That's way short. Jesus name left leg I command you grow right now Jesus name yeah <laughs> did you feel 
Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Jesus is amazing. He loves you so much. <laughs> Father, I thank you that you love Bridget so much, God, that you would make her wrist completely whole right now. Every ligament, every tendon, every cartilage, I command you be made whole in Jesus' name. Come on, let me see it again. Yeah, it'll be gone. Come on, this is real. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that you love her so much, God. Check it again. Should be done. Come on. That's the gospel. I have a drug addiction. I'm addicted to coke. Okay. I lost my wife, my three kids, and I want God to help me to get back with my family. Come on, man. You put your hand on his shoulder. Addiction, I curse you and command you. Let him go. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I give you everything. I give you everything. I want my family back. I want my family back. But I need you most. But I need you most. And I invite you. And I invite you. Right now. Right now. To come in. To come in. And dominate my heart. And dominate my heart. And transform my life. And transform my life. I submit. I submit. And give up. And give up. Right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Wash me. Wash me. And wipe me clean. Wipe me clean. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name, God. You heard his heart. Addiction, I curse you and command you get out. Get out. You're a violation of everything good. I command you, let him go. In Jesus' name. God, I thank you for favor. Jesus' name. Thank you, Papa. Thank you so much. Oof. How far are we away from Times Square? Oh, way far away from Times Square. And the kid goes, hey, can, hey, can you hear my shoulder? My arm hurts. And so we're like, let's get him. I don't even know what was going on. I'm like, man, God, did you just send him? Were you in the Times Square? Is that where you were? Did you see him freak out, man? Here he came up and had a problem with his shoulder. He broke his collarbone. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus, God. In Jesus' name, that right now his shoulder would be completely healed, that his collarbone would be healed. What are you feeling there? Is it loosening? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Raise it up, man. What's up, man? What's up? Bring it around, man. Do everything you couldn't do. I guarantee it's done. And then God gave me a word of knowledge about the other kid that was with him about migraines. I cancel you and command you let him go in Jesus' name. You feel that? Yeah. Is that funky? Is it tingly in your head? Yeah. Come on, God, more. In Jesus' name, more. Man. Love, man. So I've prayed from the beginning, God, give me your heart, give me your eyes. I want to see people through their created value, who you created them to be. Because they might not know it yet. So God, I'm asking you for your heart so I can so I can just approach them with your heart. So you can just approach somebody with love. And it's just as important if you tell somebody that God loves them and they're amazing as it is if you pray for them they get out of a wheelchair. Both are equally important in heaven. So I don't always know like who to approach. I just go through my day and I touch as many as I can in the time that I have.